Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo. Just wondering at the marvels of the modern age. It is possible to sip boxed wine from a plastic cup. And welcome, everybody, to an evening edition of whatever it is that I'm doing here, <laughs> uh, showcasing uh, this past week's thrift haul. As many of you know, I enjoy thrifting. It's probably one of my favorite pastimes. It's fun. You never really know what you're going to find. And most, if not all, of my clothes. Well, okay, not all of my clothes. I apologize. I got an alert saying that I'm, I'm live on YouTube, which, you know, oddly enough, I, I, I realize because I'm, I'm the one who's, who's live on YouTube. Uh... Okay, some of my clothes, most of my clothes these days are thrifted. And uh, I find them thrifting because they're, what, $2 instead of 200 Or even $20? Uh, I, I, yeah, I get it. I know I'm live. What else do I need to know? Stop interrupting me! Okay, on to happier topics. Why does it always want to get in the way? I want to talk to you about the things that I found this week. And this is uh, something that I, I may be doing uh, on a weekly basis. No, not interrupting myself because of interruptions. <laughs> Notifications. They never work when you want them to work. And, and then they... they you know. So let me go ahead and show you what I picked up this week. Now, you, you may have, have caught the earlier video. I did a special video showcasing the droids uh, figures here. But I'm, I'm going I'm to save the best of this thrift haul... For last, trust me, I think it's worth uh, you know staying around for. Uh, but this this just this week, by and large, there, there were maybe a couple of other things, but this was the stack that I, I accrued this week. Some weeks are better than others, honestly. Some days are better than others. That's why the uh, boy, what kind of wine is this? Uh, so this was a bag that caught my attention, not because of the price, four dollars. And I usually, by the way, with a $4 price tag, um, if I have enough, I will save an additional $2 or 20% because I'll often carry with me a thrifting coupon. So this was $4. What caught my original attention was this, the Ronto, right? And then I looked deeper and I'm like, wait a second. I, I know what that is. I know what that is. So let me go ahead and pull this out of the package. And this is, this is really being done to showcase to everybody. Not just that uh, I love thrifting, but uh, that I, I get more than Star Wars items. This is Strider. You may remember uh, Strider from uh, the vintage He-Man series. And so, uh, I would say, not exactly fully complete, but in pretty decent shape for its age. So we now have a, a Strider. Now, the, there was a figure that was sold separately, but I, I typically don't pick up He-Man figures. I already kind of have them, uh, you know, loose, obviously, and I'm not a He-Man collector necessarily, but I thought, you know, this is kind of neat. So uh, this will go in my vintage He-Man collection. Loose, not complete, Strider. So again, in the package, for $4 that I probably pay paid a total of $3 for, this is a Ronto, which you may remember from the uh, Star Wars Special Edition, A New Hope Special Edition. Uh, we've got a place for a Jawa there, and uh, there's a Peg right there. Uh, this Ronto has an articulated neck, it has articulated legs, and the tail looks like it would articulate. It's a separate piece here, uh, but it doesn't look like it has much mobility at all. Uh, there really were no other accessories that came with this particular Ronto, uh, but you should note that uh, the... Uh, uh, what, 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 what was this called? What's this, what's this part of the horse called? Well, it's not... Okay. This is not a horse, it's a Ronto. But when riding, what is it, a stirrup? No, stirrups are down here. And there really are no stirrups. It's just kind of painted onto the, the Ronto. It's the, not the, what, what is this? Reins. Reins. Of course I should know that. I live in Seattle. It rains here all the time. That, that, that's a good punny tweet. How can I work that? Um, horses love Seattle because it rains all the time. Just give me a second. I, gotta, I, gotta, I, I have to tweet that. I, give me, just, I, I have to. Give me a second. I, I'm, I'm tweeting while, while streaming here. So, horses must love Seattle because it rains all the time. Now, I, I say this ironically because it's, it was very sunny today. Um, wait, wait, not horses. Like, equestrians. Equ okay, I can't say equestrians because horses probably don't like rains. Equestrians. Did I spell that right? 
uh, equestrians. Yeah, okay, I did. Wow, unbelievable. I've never spelled that word, you know, in my entire life. Like, you know, I, I, when, when would I ever write equestrian? The fact that I knew the word existed, though, should say it all. Equestrians must love Seattle because it rains all the time. <gasps> Perfectly punny tweet. I love punny tweets. Okay, ow. That, that hurt. I deserve that. for the, that, that was a good pun, right? A bad pun is a good pun? Am I, am I correct in that? Okay, so moving along, I uh, found this. Uh, I, I haven't necessarily been a Falcon collector, and I probably would have skipped it had I already this item in my collection, but it looks like it may very well be a Micro Machine from uh, the mid-90s. Yeah, uh, 1996, LFL. Hope was the company, so maybe it wasn't a Micro Machine, but I imagine putting little, little uh, Micro Machines figurines in here would be a great way to kind of keep them together. But I've been uh, kind of, as time has gone on, picking up various Millennia Falcon. Millennia. What's the plural of Millennia Falcon? Millennium Falcon? Millennium Falcons? Millennia Falcons? What's the plural? No. What's the plural of Millennium Falcon? Like no one can tell me. That's another. That's another tweet. What's I'm tweeting left and right over here? Give me a second. I'm going to tweet this one from Star Wars Radar, though, because it's probably going to yield far more responses. We're going to be doing the Star Wars Radar video live after this, and we're going to be talking about whatever you want to talk about, not what I want to talk about. Uh, what's the plural of Millennium Falcon? Okay. Tweeted. Hey, I'm just thinking, I, what? you know, I, see, I, why do I not think of these things when I'm not doing live video? I don't know. All right, uh, Ivo, I am not even going to attempt your last name there. It says Millennium Falca. See, that sounds about right. Okay, so this is this one's funny because... Not, not the Falcon. We're done with the Falcon uh, for now. Uh, this one's funny because literally like two hours before I found this thrifting, I saw it brand new in a party store. Is that the name of the place? I think the, par the party store is literally called the party store, I think. Uh, no... No, it isn't. It is a party store, but it's not called a party store. Party, party vicinity, party um, metropolitan, party town, party town, party municipality. I don't, anyway, uh, it was on sale at the store for twenty bucks. An inflatable stormtrooper. Of course, you would need hel helium, which is in short supply anyway. Uh, but I got this one for again three ninety nine. So, uh, if we ever needed to inflate a stormtrooper, instead of, uh, you know, spending $20 on one brand new, we've got one. You know, right there. And even if we don't use it, it's collectible. Ah! I would not want to try to inflate this on my own, though. I think you do need uh, some kind of helium supply. Uh... Okay, let's, let's see here. I'm deciding which one I want to go with next. So I love figures. Love Star Wars figures. Uh, if I see one uh, that's unique, or one that I don't have, or one that could be an army builder, I will often grab it when thrifting. Um, you know, there, there are times that I don't, though. I mean, if it's in really bad shape. Uh, but this one I saw in a, a baggie with other toys, other, uh, other items that I ended up basically repackaging to resell. Uh, an Anakin Skywalker, uh, you may remember from the, the Clone Wars cartoon. Uh, not, no wait, I'm sorry, was it The Clone Wars? Yeah, The Clone Wars. The one, t was it Tartakovsky? The animated series uh, that ran on Cartoon Network. You can watch the full um, uh, version of it on YouTube. Someone ended up clipping them all together. Uh, but uh, where he got this tattoo. Does, does not have the rest of his arm, but that's normal for an Anakin Skywalker figure. But I was like, okay, that's pretty decent. Got him for a couple bucks. So if it's a figure, I'll usually flip for it. Not a problem there. Including uh, a full set. Now this is just this is just a, a, a small subset of what I picked up of the Puzzle Town series. Now, if, if you were not a child of the '70s and '80s like me, then these characters or, or these toys may mean nothing to you. Okay, I was going to try to hold them up at the same time, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, Puzzle Town from Richard Scarry. Back in 1976, uh, we knew of Richard Scarry books. Uh, and, and, and characters, not from TV shows necessarily, uh, but certainly from the library. That's where we, we picked up most of the books, if not at school. Uh, but these toys, 1976, 
These figurines are available pretty easily on, uh, or at least in my estimation, you can pick them up at auction online. But I ended up getting uh, not just these four, but, but like almost like a full run of the uh, Puzzle Town figurines. <laughs> Complemented by Puzzle Town uh, uh, cardboard slats that would fit into uh, these like uh, base plates. So not quite Lego, uh, absolutely not, but certainly vintage, certainly fun. And Jedi already had a Puzzle Town set, which, by the way, I had thrifted like about a year ago, and she's enjoyed putting it together. So those Puzzle Town pieces went in there. But I thought I would uh, showcase in this particular highlight um, just the figurines. And growing up, I had. Not these three figurines. I definitely had the motorcycle uh, cop dog figurine, but not these three. Didn't have the nurse and the doctor or the mayor. But now Jedi does. These are actually duplicates. Believe it or not, I, I've now thrifted enough that I have duplicates of the Puzzle Town uh, figures. Can't have enough of the Puzzle Town uh, cardboard um, items that you can basically slat and, and you basically put together like a puzzle. Uh, even though it's not a puzzle, I mean, you basically build your own town. So it's. Kind of neat. Uh, a couple of video games, which I know thrills many of you. Uh, the Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Now, not to be confused with the Skywalker uh, uh, Saga, which I think that's what the, the new Lego Star Wars game that's going to be really... Give me a second. Much better. The Skywalker Saga, I think, is going to be released next year. And I will be playing that one all the way through, probably streaming it with Star Wars Radar. Uh, this one includes the, well, the complete saga in terms of the six films that were done before the sequel trilogy. Nintendo DS, Star Wars Lego game, uh, four bucks. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Uh, $3.50. Complete with directions and, the, of course, the little cartridge. Uh, these are often found thrifting. Four bucks. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll grab it. Not a problem. And next to it, Wreck-It Ralph. Now, I know you may be thinking, Wreck-It Ralph, what is... Jedi loves Wreck-It Ralph. She loves Vanellope. She loves Ralph. She loves the soundtrack. She loves the movies. I think she likes the first one more than the second one. She hasn't really watched the second one as much as the first one, which is kind of disappointing because I ended up spending, like, what, 20 bucks on the second one thinking that she would like it. And she likes going to the internet. She'll she'll pretend, hey, Ralph, let's go to the internet. She's into that pretend, you know, pretend phase of her life, which is great. But I've been trying to get her into video games. So my hope is that uh, we can play some Wreck-It Ralph on a Nintendo DS. Ah, oh, dropping my thrifting stuff. Uh, I've got a, a a video game drawer of sorts, but uh, I guess all I have is just uh, just the Game Boy Advance SP here, which is not going to do what I wanted it to do. I can pull out my DS, but apparently my DS is elsewhere. Where the heck did I put my DS? Shows you how much I play it. Oh, I, I swear it was. I swear it was there. Someone did someone take my DS? Someone took my Nintendo DS. Oh hey Steven. Uh just came on board. You mentioned Darth Maul's brother, Savage Sav Sa <laughs> Savage Opress. No, I haven't mentioned him, but I did thrift him once. I'm gonna save that one for last. Picked up this one this morning. A couple bucks for a Minnie Mouse with bow ear thing for Jedi. Cause she 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 likes Minnie Mouse. And so I thought this would be kind of fun. And more more importantly, it's licensed. It's got little sparkly ears. Normally, I think at a park, this would probably cost like 10 bucks. So getting it for two is a score. It's the same thing. Uh, here's another little set that I got for a couple bucks. This is one of those magnet sets. So you open the little case. Yeah, stickers coming off. See, that's the thing with thrifting. Sometimes the items are not in great shape. This isn't bad, though. I may end up pulling off the sticker. It's not a big deal. Uh, it's obviously something that was meant to be played with. So inside, you've got magnet bases and various scenes that you can place over the magnet base, and then uh, little characters and or items. There's the Millennium Falcon, Rebel Insignia, or Resistance Insignia. We also have an X-Wing. They can go there and see they're magnetized. So it's just it's a little bit of fun uh, play. You know, you can make up your own scenes, make up your own stories, and have a little bit of fun. It came with several other magnets, of course. You know, Darth Maul, Darth Maul, uh, Kylo Ren, R2-D2, etc. It may have even been mixed and matched from another magnet set. But uh, again, I figured, you know, for a couple bucks, uh, you know, why not? So then Jedi's got this little carrying 
case. I may end up, uh, she's got another magnet set, and I may end up uniting the magnet sets and putting them in one so that it's, it's, a, it's a carry-all here. Um, very often you'll find ga uh, not just video games, uh, not, uh, sorry, Bo Shooter. That is funny. Hey, John, what's going on? Super Awesome Geek Show and the Collecting Dad. And I love that. I love that name because I'm also a collecting dad, but I'm not the collecting dad, just a collecting dad, a, a collector who happens to be a dad, a dad who happens to be a collector, but obviously not the. The is reserved for the collecting dad, but I do collect and I am a dad. Um, uh, you know, this was four box. And usually, I, I don't know if I would have flipped for this necessarily. It was an opened Monopoly game for Star Wars. And that's probably why I ended up going for it. Um, the money is not that exciting. Some of the Star Wars Monopoly games actually have like custom Star Wars cash. Uh, which I'm much more interested in in terms of play value. But uh, this was actually complete with these little tokens. So I don't know if we can end up minus the game. And it wasn't complete because the... Uh, the well, I guess... These pieces, these really wouldn't be the tokens that you move around the board. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but I thought, you know, maybe these could be reused without damaging or really ruining the rest of the game because the only game piece that came with this particular uh, $4 resale of a Monopoly set was the Star Destroyer. And it should have had, I think, a, a total of four tokens with this. We have directions. We also have uh, the, the complete money pack. So there is extra Monopoly money, should we ever need it. And then, of course, uh, Community and Chance cards for Monopoly. That's right, Community and Chance. That, well, they call it G Galactic... No, wait, hang on, what do they call it? Use the Force on this one? Oh, yeah, Use the Force and Chance. Okay. Uh, but the what I'm saying with money is, is that the cash in this game is just regular old Monopoly money. But some other Star Wars Monopoly games actually have, like, Galactic Credit money, which is kind of fun uh, to play with. And I've seen at least two uh, variations of Star Wars Monopoly money, not including this. This is generic mo Monopoly money. Try say You try saying that, like, five times fast. Monopoly money, Monopoly money, Monopoly money, Monopoly money, Monopoly money. Okay, I did it. Never mind. I thought I was going to trip myself up. Didn't happen. <laughs> All right. Last but not least... Last but not least, uh, give me a second. I'm gonna see. Give me. A, I, I need to like search for something. Uh, I I got it. I sh I gotta do this. I gotta do it. I have to do it. And and you're gonna understand why. So um, many m m many collectors would know what it, what it is I'm about to show. This is a this was a rare find. Finding the droid figures very rare, uh, very valuable, but very also very 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 rare. Vintage, decent shape. All three in the same package for, you know, four bucks. So I knew that if I kept going back, maybe there was more. There was. So I got another package here. This is $3.99. This is a reveal of what I got in this package. I kept going back, and I never found any other items uh, that, that may have been indicative of, of someone have, having released into the wild a, a vintage a Star Wars figure collection. Uh, I did get this Chewbacca, one of the original Chewbaccas from uh, Galactic Heroes or whatever they're calling it now, uh, from Hasbro. Uh, so can't have too many Chewbaccas, or Wookiee. We just say it's a Wookiee. Uh, but, more importantly, we got a Wicket. A vintage Wicket, including his cowl. Very nice. Decent shape. No markings, necessarily. I would say this one's probably a solid C8, if not C9. Uh, definitely, I would say worthy of collecting, minus, of course, his spear. Very rarely would you find a, a figure uh, matched with its accessory, certainly from the vintage line. So, uh, got a, a wicket. Can't have too many uh, wickets. Also, uh, in decent, sh like decent, never played with shape. I would, I would give this one a solid C eight, C nine. Chief Chirpa. Uh, you know, one of the one of the blurred out boxes. Before the Ewok shipped, Chief Chirp and then his his uh, his, his uh, companion Low Gray, uh, but Chief Chirpa right here, including Cowl, a decent shape, really. Like I don't think ever, ever played with. So if this thrift location had other, if someone had let up other Star Wars figures, maybe they got picked up by somebody else. I don't want to know. I never want to know. I never want to know. Because what I'm about to show you, and by the way, COO is, let's see, COO, Hong Kong, COO. 
Um, I wouldn't be surprised if all these are, are like local. I mean, to the U.S., not necessarily um, Lily Letty or in anything else. This is it. This is this, this is the this is the final thing. This is the part of the bag here. Let me flip back to chat. See if anybody else gets it. No, no, no. So co collecting dad, you're about to freak out because yeah, the droid. One of the last seventeen, Warrock, including his uh, his uh, I guess what would be his his strap with the like uh, accessory. Well, not access. I mean, you can't take the accessories out of this plastic strap, including cowl. Uh, one of the last 17, also in really good shape, like solid shape. I would say C8, C9. I wouldn't go as far as saying C10. Uh, I'd be a little more uh, hesitant to go that far, but C9. I would easily peg this one as a C9, one of the last 17. So that's why I kept going back. I'm like, dude, dude. So... It's possible someone had a very small Ewok collection. Um, but yeah, I found, it, I found one of the last 17 thrifting. Droids figures, one of the last 17 while thrifting uh, this week. Unbelievable. See, the collecting dad. Wow, what a find. You get it. We get it. Eye to eye on this. Dude. Dude! <laughs> Now, here's the thing, and I've told this story before. Uh, I was blessed in the sense that I had very loving parents. And for my, was it my, uh, is either my 15th or 16th birthday, that was the year that The Last 17 was released. And, of course, we didn't have Yak Face, didn't know it existed. And they weren't really doing a lot of heavy marketing around Star Wars figures. So I didn't know that... The, the figures in this this particular last uh, release were even available. And I got pretty much all of them. I completed my Star Wars figure collection on my birthday. I was so lucky. But I ended up getting all of them. And some of them are, are still in my definitive uh, vintage collection uh, because I kept them in good shape. And so they stayed about C8. Or, I'm sorry, they stayed about C9 condition. So, for my definitive collection, my benchmark is basically C9. I, I don't have anything less than that. C9 plus, if not C10, complete with accessories. Um, but, yeah, you know, all the way from uh, EV99, uh, the, the R2 with the uh, lightsaber is also from my original collection. I'm looking up there to see it. Imperial Dignitary, uh, I was lucky enough that his uh, nose did not get rubbed. Uh, Barada was uh, also, I think I upgraded the Barada. Lando, I was blessed enough to ha ha have that one as well. Uh, all the way to the Ewoks, a man, a man, etc. The only one missing, of course, from that lineup was uh, Yak Face because he just wasn't, he wasn't, really wasn't available in the U.S. Didn't know he existed until later on when you, when, my, when I got online for the first time in, in 91 or 92 and was looking at Star Wars figures. This is, Chris, what did you do on the internet, you know, when you got online in 1992? Oh, I looked up Star Wars. <laughs> they, but they, they don't, you don't know me. You think you know me, right? Like... Technology is a great enabler. It's a what do I have notifications turned on for uh, to be alerted for new Star Wars content? <laughs> uh, just being real, folks. Uh, so I looked up Star Wars figures and imagine my surprise when Yak Face comes out of nowhere. I'm like, what? how is it a thing? Because back then, what you got to remember is I didn't know these figures existed until I had them. And was kind of really taken aback because they were never on the back of any cards. And you only knew of other figures because they were on the back of cards or in, ca in a catalog or you know some kind of booklet or something. And so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll never forget that. In fact, I remember they, Mom did like a, a, a scavenger hunt around the house. And I remember finding a Han Solo and Carbonite, that figure, in, uh, in the bathtub. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't wet. But I, I opened them all. They're not MOC. Far from it. Uh, so anyway, found one of the last 17 while thrifting. So I, I can say that those two things happened uh, this this past week or close to this past week. Pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. I mean, just like crazy. So uh, let's see here. The collecting dad says, I need to thrift. Well, of course you need to thrift. Dude, it's like the best ever. I love thrifting. I like getting modern stuff too. I've got some stuff that I'll be showcasing. I got some of the newer figure waves. But um, not today. Uh... Thrifting is probably my favorite thing about collecting. It's no joke, because you never know what you're going to find. 
Uh, so many people skip over things, and I skip over things too. It just depends what you're looking for. You know, you got to be you want to be surprised, right? So, uh, Lego Builder uh, 1999 says, Who's excited for Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga? <laughs> uh, Super Awesome Geek Show points out that cowl is so hard to find. It is. <laughs> oh, trust me, I knew. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, Oh my God, I can't believe it. Rarely happens. Don't expect it. Most of the stuff you're going to find is just going to be like you know, the commonplace, you know, more modern things. Maybe not in great shape, but you can, you can. I mean, this is actually in decent shape. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but yeah, that it's it is entirely possible. So hello from New Zealand, howdy! I wish I had some stuff in New Zealand because they've got unique Star Wars uh, Star Wars items down there, including the Darth Vader silver coin from the New Zealand Mint. New Zealand Mint makes Star Wars uh, coins, and I've always wanted them, but I've never. I like, eh, it's not worth fifty bucks for me. It's like I know it's silver, but I'm like, mm. I'd rather you know spend two dollars on a Ronto than fifty dollars on a, a Star Wars coin. Just to show you where I am, you know that's 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 where I I kind of sit. Yours doesn't have the cowl. Oh man, dude, you gotta you know you gotta get. I'm telling. <laughs> How much is this guy? This one's probably worth Warrock with the cowl and his uh, bandolier, if you will, or his his accessory. <sighs> conservatively, minus accessory, conservatively maybe fifty. Fifty dollars, and I could be off because I have not been pricing vintage items for the longest time. Maybe fifty, minus accessory again. John, you could probably correct me, uh, or even the collecting dad if you're up on your vintage stuff. And you're asking how do I display my vintage collection? If you go into this channel and you search for my vintage Star Wars figure collection, I think I, I showcase it. I use the baseball bat cases from Michaels. They sell they sell those, and you just take out some of the stuff. But I ended up having I, I was able to get all, everything into four of the cases and lining them up, um, complete. But uh, anyway, that's 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 how I display my vintage collection. I mean, I, other people have it a bit more. They have it closer, but I just couldn't find any space for it where I would want where I would want it to be. And so for now. They sit in my play shop up and behind, uh, or up above, like just kind of behind me, because that's the only place I could effectively find enough space for the four baseball cases. Personally, I would have preferred to have them in front, like where I would normally look, but they work there as well. Um, you bought the Disney Infinity 3.0 Star Wars Starter Pack? Oh. I see those figurines thrifting quite frequently. Is there anything else you need to search for other than Star Wars? Uh, you know, I, I, on the net, uh, you know, not really. Jo you know, the collecting dad. Uh, that's it. Like that's that's all I've ever. <laughs> that's all I've ever really looked for. No. Every so often, I go down rabbit holes. Like I completed my Battle Beast collection. I completed my Mask collection. Um, thrifting, not just not not just thrifting, but you know, buying in you know from from uh, uh, other vendors and completing the figure collection at least, not the vehicle collection. So. Uh, the cowl is $50 alone? Really? So I just want to point out, just point this out. So the cowl here, $50 alone? John, man, I, I was far off on the pricing. Is he worth about 100 Complete like this, minus accessory. Because when I got, when I upgraded mine, I want to say, and this was just a few years ago, it wasn't, it wasn't near that. But yeah, I, uh, I got, I was, I was blessed. Hashtag blessed. So this, this was the win. There's the reason I saved this one. Trust me, this is. There's the reason I, I saved this one for last. Uh, you got eight of the back, uh, back cases. Just gotta hang them. Yeah, I ended up doing it in four, and it works out really, really well. And I'm talking all the way through to the Max Rebo band, black snag or blue snags, and uh, and and yak face. Um, no variations in there necessarily. Um, trying to think what else I got in there. Uh, blue snags, yak face. Max Rebo, yeah, that's really the blue snags is probably the only outlier because it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't. It was official, but it wasn't official. So figure nothing with forty fifty with Cal. Oh, probably about a hundred. It's even better. So I got I got three Star Wars figures that would probably be valued maybe about one hundred and ten, maybe more than that, one hundred and twenty for four bucks. <laughs> Thrifting is fun. You just gotta live in the right area. That's what it comes down to. It really does, cause it's luck. It's all about it's all about luck. But I love thrifting. I love it. It's my it's it's seriously one of my favorite things to do. And my wife got me into it. I didn't even start until a few years ago. I'm like, damn, dude, this is fun. This is kind of cool. I love it. 
so many things that I never would have, I never would have bought outright. Just like, oh, four bucks. Okay, it's nothing. It's nothing. Uh, you started your Rainbow the rain, you st I've started my Rainbow Vader in 36 hours in. Oh, 3D printing with Heath, dude. T if you, you know, I know you got your own channel. I'd be happy to co-promote your channel. I, I would be, you know, if you do a unique video for me to upload, I'd be happy to upload and give you credit and say this is the 3D printing with Heath. You know, I've never, I've done it before years ago. Like, uh, people have done video and I uploaded it. I'm like, here, you know, everyone look at their channel. Like, but yeah, you know, if you want to do a, a unique video for me to upload into this channel, I'd be happy to do it to promote your channel. I would, because it's Star Wars. <laughs> That's... <laughs> People, they don't understand. They don't understand the collecting dad. I think you get me, John. Super awesome geek show. I, I know you get me. Uh, oh, ow! You know what doesn't get me? Whatever is like sticking. Do I have a hair sticking out of my foot? Ow, that kind of hurts. Um, I love my. I love Star Wars. My favorite movie is Star Wars: The Phantom Menace. I really love Jar Jar Binks and pod racing. Dude, actually, pod racing was one of the better parts of the Phantom Menace. I like Jar Jar Binks too. Uh, I'm honestly more excited for Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, than I am for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Interesting. Pure Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga for PS4. Is it, uh, if it comes with a unique minifigure, like, that's the only reason I'd, I'd probably pre-order. I pre-ordered the, uh, um, um, Jedi Fallen Order from GameStop for the PS4, although I'm inclined to, I mean, I don't know how I do with cancellations, but I got it because of the figure, right? Because of the unique figure, whatever that's going to be, they haven't even announced it, um, but I'd be considering, uh, you know, I'll be playing uh, Jedi Fallen Order likely on the PC. I only pre-ordered a PS4 or an Xbox specifically so that I could, um, uh, so that I can get the figure. But I'd probably be more inclined at this stage to probably game on the Xbox and stream it through through that, through the companion app um, with my with the work that I do. But uh, anyway, yeah, because I I work for Intel. I mean, the, the disclaimers in every video now, or disclosure, uh, specifically Intel graphics, and uh, but I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm pushing every, everywhere I can. I'm like, you know, let's let's do something with Jedi, let's do something with Star Wars. But I, you know, Intel's a big company, but like, let's do something, let's do something. You know, I'm in it, I'm in it. No, um, <clears throat> John, you're crazy. Sorry, John is the super awesome geek show. His, you were in a vlog. You were in the the. The vlog I, I did around the release of The Force Awakens. Because you were in the car with your Chewbacca and your lightsaber. I, I can't remember which vlog that was. It was so long ago. Uh, 3D Printing with He Says. Chris, I followed you for 15 years now. I'm so glad you're still with me. Um, you know, in my fascination with <laughs> everything I'm fascinated with, certainly. Uh, gotta love Star Wars undies. Yes, you do. I only have one pair. The other ones I'm waiting to go on sale, of course. It is past 5. When 5 o'clock hits... I like, I drop trowel and put on pajama bottoms. That's, and I told you yesterday, I said, I'm going to put on my number one dad shirt. I, I should have worn it yesterday, but, yeah, well. Uh, Steven Gano asks, are there any announcements about the original films going 4K? Now, Super Awesome Geek Show seemed to be more plugged into that than me. Uh, but, uh, anyway, this has kind of turned into a whole Star Wars radar chat, uh, which is funny, so I'm late for the other stream. But that's okay, it's okay. More Star Wars going on. Uh, head over to Star Wars Radar. Uh, follow across social. I'm going to be broadcasting there where we can uh, dive deeper into these topics. Happy to share the Thrifting Hall. If I get more stuff this week, which may or may not happen, then I'd be happy to do another one coming uh, Happy to do another one this coming Monday. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining me for this feed. Jumping over to Star Wars Radar because that's probably more apropos beyond thrifting conversations. Thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. At this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. May the Force be with you always.